Here in Metro Detroit and across the country, gun shops often experience delays with FBI background checks. It's something now prompting calls for change. Inside Action Impact Gun Shop in East Point. Customer Justin Baldridge comes to enjoy a favorite hobby. It's a stress reliever, it's definitely a stress reliever. The 21 year old enthusiast is also among a growing number of people, supporting a lengthier period for the FBI to run a background check for a firearm purchase to review possible mental health records, prior arrests, and other factors. It's all about safety, really. So it's taking that little extra precaution as always. We asked owner Bill Kusick, a retired deputy, about the FBI reporting they did not finish more than one million checks in time to stop a sale between 2020 and 2021. The law says after three business days, if it's not resolved, we don't have a response, we can transfer the firearm. We arbitrarily make that seven days. In some cases federally, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives has stepped in to retrieve guns later found to have been sold to someone failing a background check. Kusick points to rising gun sales as a reason for some delays. They have an insurmountable task trying to do this. Could the system be improved when oftentimes the background checks aren't done in time? There's so many tweaks, I think it can be improved. Retired ATF supervisor Donald Dawkins has handled these cases personally and tells us the FBI commonly deals with delays accessing local records. He supports lawmakers increasing the mandatory wait time. Why not wait a little bit longer if it would mean less illegal guns get on the street? I just don't understand it. The owner of Action Impact also says it's important to remember that any gun shop can make a determination to deny a sale if they feel there are concerns at any point. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.